Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe so as to be notified whenever I post a new video. Youth unemployment is still a major challenge in our country today. To address this menace, the government introduced Youth Enterprise Development Fund in 2006 as one of the flagship projects of Vision 2030. The fund seeks to create employment opportunities for young people through entrepreneurship and encouraging them to be job creators and not job seekers. Thirteen years later, has the fund been able to help its targeted group, who are the youths between the ages of 18 to 34 years old? Mr. Leonard Ocheng, who is Kisumu County's Youth Enterprise Development Fund Coordinator, gets to answer us as he tells us more about this fund. I'm Leonard Ocheng. I'm the County Coordinator, Kisumu County Youth Enterprise Development Fund. Youth Fund is a state corporation under the Ministry of uh, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs. It was uh, started in the year 2006 to empower youths financially and economically. The biggest challenge that the, the government thought was to address is the youth unemployment. So by engaging into business enterprises, you would actually become self-employed and earn a living out of it. So in Kisumu County, <coughs> we deal with uh, youths between the ages of 18 to 34 years. Um, these youths, we empower them financially, but other than doing that, um, we normally train youths on matters of entrepreneurship. We link uh, youths with uh, business products to potential buyers. That is, we assist them in marketing and linking them up with potential buyers to their products. Um, we also assist youths to secure jobs, not necessarily within Kenya but outside the country. This is normally through a department called YESA. Once the opportunities have been identified outside the country and probably the skills are available in Kenya, then we normally look for the skills and the success, successful youths normally get an opportunity to go and work outside the country. And in Kisumu County, close to over 40,000 youths have benefited from youth funds, either as registered youth groups or as individual youths. We have quite a number of loan products that we offer to the youths. But basically, for somebody to qualify for the loans, of course you have to be a Kenyan citizen youth between the age bracket of 18 to 34 years. Loans are targeting registered youth groups or individuals. For you to be a registered youth group, of course you must have a, a registered, you must have a certificate from a recognized government body. So with that uh, certificate, we get to, we come to the group, we get to know you as a group, what are your areas of interest, what do you want to do as a group. Once that has been put in place, then uh, depending on your financial need, we work together with that group for quite some time as we take them through entrepreneurship training. Up to that point that they feel like uh, as a group, they want to apply for the funds. <coughs> a group can start with as little as 50,000 shillings for a project of their choice. 
can also go to 100,000. That is for the first loan. They keep on graduating based on how they perform. Okay? If you start with 100,000 and you prepare this loan for a period of within 12 months, it offers, you, it offers you an opportunity to graduate to the next level. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you can be able to, from 100,000, 200,000, 400,000, 600,000, or even up to 1 million. When coming up with a group, normally we have a few, like, uh, the threshold that must be met. One, when it comes to the group officials, we prefer that they are purely youths. That is the treasurer secretary and the chairman. And then that makes the threshold to be 30 to 70. 30% <coughs> can be anybody who is about 35 years of age. 70% of membership must be youths. Group officials must be youths. Um, when it comes to entrepreneurship, we have quite a number of opportunities within the county that the youths should actually explore so that they get to know what they want in life. Okay? Having a business idea is very important. That is the first step that somebody should actually go through, coming up with a business idea, having a dream on, on, on what you want to do. Then probably after that, with that idea, now you look for financial support. And that is where Youth Enterprise Development Fund is coming in. It is a big challenge that uh, we have quite a number of youths probably who have just completed their school and they, do not, they may not be having anything to do by mere fact that probably they, they are not aware that we have funding opportunities available within the county. It is my appeal that they take advantage of the existing government funds, most preferably youth enterprise fund, so that they can be able to establish their business enterprises and probably they should be able to drive the economy of the county. And the loans that we offer to the youths are soft. Okay? Mm -hmm. They don't attract interests. You apply for 100,000 at the group level, you will pay 100,000. Okay? You apply for 50,000 under the umbrella of a group, you simply repay the 50,000. Also, advise the youths to take advantage of the existing access to government procurement, procurement opportunities, that is ARPO, because uh, youths, the disabled and women, have been allocated 30% of the government tendering. In that line, if a youth happens to have acquired an LPO with any government institution, we as Youth Enterprise Fund can be able to support that kind of LPO. There is a product called LPO financing. So the youth should actually take advantage of existing tendering opportunities, let them go to schools, public schools, either primary or secondary schools, government institutions, let them be able to competitively apply for these tenders so that with the award they can be able to benefit from this kind of product. It is lucrative and they can be able to earn a living out of it. It is also important that uh, those who are coming uh, from school let them identify themselves with their colleagues and come up with registered youth groups with certificates so that with the strength of that certificate 
they can be able to, to apply for these funds. And register businesses, single business has been made very simple. It can be done either through Duma Center or for the youths who are well equipped with IT, they can still access what we call e-citizen. There is a link that can be able to that can enable them to register their own businesses. Because basically when it comes to application for certain products, it could be a requirement that a youth is required to to package that application so that at the end of the day it can be considered. Registering a business has been made very simple for the youths, particularly when it comes to when it comes to coming up with a company, coming up with a partnership, coming up with a single business. The government has made it very simple for the youths. Then finally I would also want to encourage the youths to actually be objective and focused when it comes to making use of these funds. It is a revolving fund that once you, you borrow it or once it comes to the group, it should be put into good use so that other youths can be able to benefit from it in future. It is not a grant, but it is a soft loan. Okay? That is very much affordable based on the ability of the young Kenyan youth as we know them. So this money should be put into good use, should not be diverted to purposes that were not intended initially when the youths were coming up with their business plans. Okay? So I'm looking forward to getting more youths coming over, coming on board, seeking information so that uh, we get to move together, together with the youths. And in that regard, we should be able to actually ensure that all these youths, at least each and every one of them, is having something doing. Okay? And with that, at the end of the day, it is the economy of the county that will be growing. The issue of idleness, violence, will be a thing of the past. If these youths are properly engaged in the right way. Thank you. Well, that's all for today. If you want to get more information on the fund, please visit them on their offices on New Nyanza Regional Headquarters Building, Wing B, 3rd Floor. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks and God bless.